The Food, Agriculture, Biodiversity, Land Use, and Energy Consortium, or FABLE, is the author of the brief on national food and land mitigation pathways for net zero. The brief highlights how countries' food and land use systems can contribute to net zero targets and hold global warming below 2 degrees Celsius. It classifies countries into six profiles in order to identify priority actions in their food and land use systems according to their specific context. In this video, we will demonstrate how to identify your country's profile, how to identify your country's priority actions based on their profile, and how to input different thresholds and data sources into the FABLE profile tool that comes along with the brief. 129 countries have communicated net zero targets representing 88% of current total GHG emissions. However, clear sectoral targets or actions are often lacking to inform implementation roadmaps. FABLE has developed a guide for countries to identify priority actions in their food and land use systems. We will need to follow a few questions to determine a country's profile. First, is the current food consumption pattern excessive? If the answer is no, we next need to ask if the land-based removal potential is substantial. If the answer is no, then the country falls into Profile 6. If the answer is yes, then the country falls into Profile 5. Let's go back to the first question. Is the current food consumption pattern excessive? Yes. Is the land-based removal potential substantial? If it is not substantial, then the country is in Profile 4. If it is, that gives us another question. Are the land use, land use change, and forestry emissions negative? No means the country is in Profile 3. Yes, then ask our final question. Are agricultural emissions higher than land use, land use change, and forestry removals? If no, the country is in Profile 2. And if yes, the country is in Profile 1. These profiles will determine the priority actions. For example, if we look at a country in Profile 1, its priority actions are to reduce slash avoid excessive consumption, conduct large-scale afforestation, and restoring former agriculture land. However, a country's allocation to a profile is determined highly by 1. the data sources used and 2. the thresholds applied. The implications of different input data and or threshold choices on the country allocation to the profiles can be tested in the FABLE profile tool. Let's see it in practice. Be sure to read the README tab before you begin. For this example, we'll use the U.S. as our sample country. First, we have the thresholds used in the brief. Then we have our country's profile. Next is the number of countries in the profile, and last is the average emissions by profile. What if you are using other data sources or want to use different thresholds? In the README tab, we see that with this tool, you can test alternate values for thresholds for all criteria or alternate sources for historical GHG emissions. Be sure to read these instructions thoroughly. Let's try using different thresholds. First, make sure to work in the method test table. Next, change the threshold. The cells in green demonstrate where you can edit. Let's change the land removal potential from 20 to 50%. Then, switch the selection method to test so the outputs you see use the test table. Take a look at the country profile. The US went from a profile one to a profile four country. You can then see how the profile distribution and the average emission profiles change. Now let's use alternate sources for GHG emissions. Again, we start in the method test table. Then we'll change the data source from FAO to GHGI. Switch the selection method and see how the profile changes. The US went from a profile one to a profile three country. Just like with the thresholds, this affects the profile distribution and average emissions profiles. Different input data and or threshold choices have implications on the country's tailored action set. For the US, we can see the different priority actions based on the sources and thresholds used in the brief, changes in thresholds, and changes in data sources. This highlights the importance of reliable national data and targets so that countries can identify the right key actions when moving towards a food and land mitigation action agenda. Are you curious what your country's profile looks like? Visit us on fableconsortium.org and explore the Fable Profile tool today.